Hi, I'm Professor Molly Rapert. I'm an associate professor in the Sam M. Walton College of Business at the University of Arkansas. And I'm so delighted to have some great guests on this Zoom with me to tell you more about being a marketing major, what it's like, and where it could take you in life. Before I jump into the experts on this call though, I'd like to tell you just a little bit about the University of Arkansas, in case you're not familiar with it. We are located in beautiful Northwest Arkansas. We are in close proximity to the global headquarters of Walmart. And that means that we have the opportunity to have deep and abiding relationships with executives who work at that great institution. In addition, we have literally hundreds of supplier offices here in our backyard, and we're able to form relationships with all of those companies as well. We also have a third layer in addition to retailing and the supplier community, and that's looking at the agencies such as creative agencies and data analytics that support these relationships. But the fourth layer is just as exciting, and that's the entrepreneurial layer that we'll be hearing about today as well. We have so many great startups in Northwest Arkansas, people that are showing their innovation, starting their own businesses and connecting with other small businesses as well. So I'm delighted that you're gonna hear from some great experts on these. And I'd like to emphasize that while we do specialize a lot in the consumer packaged goods industry, and we'll hear about that on this call, that we also have a platform that takes you to a lot of other directions. One thing I love about Walton is that you can bring in majors and minors to complement your marketing major that really let you define what you want that space to be, whether that's a major or a minor in something like legal studies, psychology, ERP, supply chain, finance, you can really create your own personality. So let's turn to the experts and I'm gonna start with Adrian. Hi, uh, my name is Adrienne Baker. I graduated from the Walton College in 2004 and then stayed at the U of A uh, for law school, which I graduated in 2007. Uh, at that time, I moved to Little Rock, Arkansas, where I still live to work for a wonderful law firm, Wright, Lindsay and Jennings, where I'm a partner. I am a commercial litigation attorney who does primarily banking and finance sector work. And I'm also the chief operating officer of my company. So. Uh, in law firm land, Wright, Lindsay and Jennings is considered a large law firm. We have about 70 attorneys, about 120 total people on our payroll. Obviously, that's small compared to other types of businesses or medium size. Uh, so as COO, I wear a lot of hats. And in terms of our executive structure, we have a managing partner and we have me. <laughs> and then I have several directors whom I supervise uh, who focus on accounting, IT, uh, marketing and public relations, human resources, and facilities. Um, so in a typical day, uh, in addition to practicing law, uh, I work on firm finances. Uh, I set our budgets for the year. I keep track of where we are on our budgeting. I look at our accounts receivable, our accounts payable, cash flow, all those wonderful things that I wasn't sure I would ever use when, <laughs> in my uh, accounting and finance classes in college, but I'm sure glad that I have them now. Um, I also oversee all of our firm's public relations and marketing. So we have a marketing director and she works with outside consultants who we have on retainer. And um, we have several consultants for different purposes, but all of that runs through me. Uh, so it's been very helpful for me to have a marketing background, educational background as well. I should have mentioned I have degrees in marketing and economics uh, from the Walton College. Uh, so I use those. Um, also, uh, human resources, they, they all roll up to me and I'm technically the big boss of all the all the people, uh, which is a little uh, intimidating. So I'm glad that I had my wonderful organizational behavior and other classes at the Walton College. Um, my job as Chief Operating Officer really touches um, every aspect of our business's operations, literally every aspect. And um, I have found uh, so valuable, the education that I received at the Walton College because it was so well-rounded. Uh, even though my degrees are in marketing and econ, I had classes that covered the gamut um, and it has been extremely helpful to me. And uh, when I was asked to be the chief operating officer about two and a half years ago, uh, the managing partner who asked me said, uh, there's no one else in this firm who could do the job but you. Uh, and that's because of the background and education I got from the Walton College. So. 
really excited that Molly asked me to speak today. Um, and if anybody ever wants to reach out to me to ask questions about the Walton College or my job, uh, you can just Google me. Uh, I've got a profile out there with all my contact information. Adrian, thank you so much. And it's been so fun watching you navigate your career over these years. We're going to turn next to Kyle, who is joining us, um, getting ready to have a road trip. Yes. So first of all, sorry for the uh, bouncing camera. I was, we were planning to be still somewhere in the middle of Texas, but we're a little behind schedule. So also, if you're lucky enough to take one of Molly's classes, or if you have the potential to take one of Molly's classes, you should definitely do it. She's one of the, the best professors at the U of A, and you'll learn some really real world stuff from her that can, is better than any other class you can get there. So, um, yeah, so I graduated from the University of Arkansas in 2016. Uh, I grew up in Fayetteville, so I've been here for 27 years, which is amazing. Um, I studied supply chain and marketing, major in supply chain and minor in marketing and uh Right after I graduated, I went and worked at Walmart for two years. I uh, interned there before my senior year, and then I got hired on to do one of their rotational developmental programs within merchandising. So for nine months, they train you in different uh, roles in the cross-functional teams within Walmart on their buying teams. So you would do a month within replenishment and then a month within um, planning and then buying product development. And so I did that for nine months and then got placed as a planner um, on a category team within Walmart. And I helped figure out how much, uh, how many hangers and laundry baskets there needed to be in Walmarts across the country. So I did that for two years and then uh, I got presented with an opportunity to come help launch an apparel startup uh, in Fayetteville called Bearded Goat. And so that's where I've been for the past three years. Um, and I got hired on as the kind of director of operations at the time, which kind of really meant just doing whatever. Uh, we're still a pretty small team. And so we have two full-time employees, myself, and then my counterpart uh, who runs all of our creative graphic design, uh, product photography, anything cool and how you experience Beard to Goat is my co-partner. And uh, all of the stuff that just kind of has to get done whenever is kind of my, my role. And so it's changed a lot over the past three years. Um, but I really, even in the past year, I've been able to kind of identify how my role gets to touch on all parts of the business. So it's fun because we'll switch from focusing on marketing strategies for the year to, you know, planning out our financial forecast for the next year and then our cash flow and then figuring out our cash gaps and um, some different sales strategies within that and then switch to product development and working on a pair of pants and an outerwear piece for the next fall. And so we'll be able to do that all in like an hour and kind of bounce around, which is really fun versus Walmart where you're working on some of the same things. It's, it's retail, you know, but it's on a much bigger scale. And so we would spend five months working on planning hangers launch where now we spend an hour doing that and then I'll switch and figure out why our website isn't working and then figure out how to ship stuff cheaper. Um, and so I learned a lot about supply chain from the Walton College and it's been fun to see that at a macro level within Walmart in a really big retail setting and then take some of the learnings from there and apply it to a really small setting um, within Bearded Goat. And so, yeah, I learned a lot from Walton College and Molly is one of the best. And so I think that's my whole spiel. That's, thank you, Kyle, so much and safe travels on your road trip. <laughs> thank gonna, you so much. Thank you. We're gonna turn to Laura who is in Wyoming as we speak. Yeah, hey everyone, uh, thanks for having me. My name is Laura Chikoski, uh, reporting to you live from Cody, Wyoming. Um, I'm normally Detroit based, but we've been taking advantage of the work remote situation and just on a road trip and hopping towns across the country until we get to uh, the Grand Tetons this weekend. So um, I graduated from Walton in 2005 with a degree in marketing management. I was also an athlete. I ran cross country and track while I was in school. Um, loved my courses at Walton. Uh, one of the pinnacle ones that really set me up for my, what I've been doing now is the honors colloquium um, where we did work with the executives at Walmart to evaluate a potential M&A move uh, in Canada. And it was a really exciting opportunity just to evaluate uh, that acquisition from all different angles. And then um, I found that as I've run into different M&A projects over my career, it's really come, come to help me that I kind of just knew what to do. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So I currently work at Ford Motor Company, and I am the Associate Director for Strategy and Growth in our brand new Enterprise Connectivity Group. So we just went through a massive reorganization to centralize all the activity around software development and creating digital experiences for our customers. So a lot like your iPhone, um, our cars are connected. They have modems, which means they can do all kinds of cool things. And so we want to be that indispensable tool, whether you're a commercial vehicle fleet manager or just an everyday person like me driving across country. <laughs> so um, my, my, Work right now is all about uh, helping our organization decide on a strategy for what we're actually going to do and not do and creating a framework around our choices. And then I'm building a team that's going to start evaluating emerging concepts, running proof of concepts, and then working with partners to build new digital products that will work in your Ford and Lincoln vehicles. So uh, same, I'd love to connect with you. If anybody has any questions, um, I'm on LinkedIn or Ask Molly, and I'm happy to take introductions. So thanks. Thank you so much. I cannot tell you how much fun it is for me as a professor that's had all of you in class to see you talk about what you're doing in your element today. And it just, this is great fun for me. So thank you. We're going to turn to Madeline, who is joining us today. Hi, guys. My name is Madeline Mays. So I recently graduated in 2019 with a major in marketing and a minor in econ. Um, I'm currently living in Minneapolis, Minnesota, where I'm working for General Mills as a trade planning associate in our sales division. So I think when I was in college and I heard sales, I would automatically think of cold calling, but that's not what this job has been at all. So essentially we have one contact at every retailer group per food category, and that's who we're selling to. So for example, we might have one refrigerated dough buyer at Kroger that we're selling our refrigerated Pillsbury products to, and he's making decisions for Kroger's all across the country. So a lot of times it's kind of what you think of, it's selling in new items that we've just launched, but we also sell in programs to support our products like having the right display at the right time, having ads in place, the right merch strategies, the right marketing programs, and everything in between. So what I do is I pull together a lot of insights and analytics to create materials that help us influence. Um, sometimes, like I mentioned, if the goal is to sell in a new item that we just launched, then I might pull together details of how that item will bring incremental sales to the category or really outline who the target consumer is. If the goal is to gain more distribution on an, on an established item, then I might you know, pull data showcasing the national trends and how it's a competitive advantage to have that item on your shelf. Or, you know, the next day I might be evalu evaluating merch strategies to find the optimal price point, to find the optimal time of year to be merching so that we can have the highest lift in sales. Um, so as you can see, every day is really different. This job really keeps me on my toes. I would say the one thing that remains consistent is that the importance of relationship building is, is always there, whether that's externally with a buyer or that's internally with the relationships with your coworkers. It's just so important to build that trust, respect, and teamwork. Um, and at the end of the day, that's why I love my job so much because I love the relationships I've made and I'm always pushed to be better um, and to be the best version of myself. So although I'm technically in sales, I touch marketing, I touch supply chain, I even touch finance sometimes. Um, and like everyone else has kind of alluded to, I think that just goes to show that, you know, there's so many different possibilities with a Walton degree. Um, the world is truly your oyster. And I think you can all have comfort in knowing that whatever career you land in, whatever job it is, you can have comfort in knowing that you're going to be set up for success based on what you've learned at the Walton College. Madeline, thank you so much. And I know you're enjoying Minnesota, but I'm anxious for you to get back to Northwest Arkansas. I know it's going to be too cold. <laughs> thank you for joining us. Last but not least, we have Wes Walker. Hi, like Molly said, my name is Wes Walker. I graduated from the Walton College in 2005 with a major in marketing. And I live in Bentonville, Arkansas right now, um, currently in Rogers Group remodeling our house so we're in a tiny airbnb with three small children and uh, a dog so that's kind of where we're at um i work for the Kraft heinz company and i work in category management and so essentially what that means is depending on what the category is say cream cheese for instance um how are we going to decide what goes on shelf 
where it's going to go, um, how are we going to organize the shelf, um, and a big part of that is trying to understand who our customer is and what their needs are. So just as a real life example, uh, I just got off the phone with a customer at Walmart um, and we're trying to segment our customer um, between who is our core customer, who is our underdeveloped customer, uh, and who is our next wave customer, so to speak, that's gonna drive the category in the next five to 10 years. Uh, and we use a lot of data to do that. And so we have access to a lot of different data sources and we essentially try to weave those together and tell one um, cohesive story that is uh, you know, often relatable in a PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> Um, I just can't tell you how fun it is for me to see all the different directions that you all have gone in your careers. Um, Madeline mentioned that so much of her job is relationship building, and I know that I'm very grateful for the relationships that I've had with you all, and grateful that Walton College provides a small community feeling that allows these relationships to grow. As you might tell from their descriptions, it's a very hands-on curriculum to major in marketing. In my class, for example, I teach seniors in a capstone course, and we have an executive um, advisory board of 15 people who pour into my students every day. They select articles, they send corporate projects, they team teach topics. In a couple weeks, we'll go on a store walk where four of my students will be paired with a couple buyers and suppliers to take the theories they learn in the classroom in these groups of four into a real world setting. And I just couldn't think of a better place to be a marketing major. I want to close by saying that one thing that I'm really proud of in being a member of this faculty is that we have an unparalleled number of award winning teachers. We have a large number of marketing faculty that have won awards at the university level, the college level, and even the top in the nation level. And I think it would be a great place to be a marketing student. And as you can see from these individuals, it's a great place to have a platform to jump into your career. I appreciate each of you today, Adrian, Madeline, Wes, Kyle, and Laura. And I hope for those of you watching that you've learned more about what it's like to be a Walton major at marketing. And thank you for joining us.